proposing a major overhaul of the nation's mortgage finance system, including winding down government-backed Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. During a visit to Phoenix, Arizona, the president said taxpayers should never again be left holding the bag when mortgage giants make bad bets. But despite an improvement in the housing market, the president says sweeping reforms are still needed to make sure the market doesn't just reinflate the housing bubble. Housing prices generally don't just keep on going up forever at the kind of pace it was going up. It was crazy. So, so what we want to do is, is something stable and steady. And that's why I want to lay a rock-solid foundation to make sure the kind of crisis we went through never happens again. Now, we can tell you that adjustable rate mortgages, which many blamed for the mortgage meltdown the president is referring to, are making a comeback. Jennifer Lukey joins us now live in the newsroom. And, Jen, I know... Uh, are people ready to gamble on their interest rates again? <laughs> well, it appears at least some are, Greg. Applications for adjustable rate mortgages hit a five-year high last month. Experts you talk with say these loans got a bad rap during the mortgage crisis, but they are still a real option for some buyers. Of course, as always, there's fine print that needs to be considered. Just under 20% of home buyers nationally are now applying for an adjustable interest rate. Adjustable rate mortgages have been around forever. Uh, what caused the housing issues and the mortgage meltdown uh, was those hybrid programs where you had four different payment options on a monthly basis. Those programs are no longer allowed under the law, and now that fixed interest rates are rising, adjustable rates are more appealing because typically they're a percentage point below the going fixed rate. If you're going to be in your home short term, it's at least worth considering. The average homeowner uh, statistically is in their house seven to ten years. So it's, it's normally a good bet that if you have a five-year, seven-year, ten-year adjustable rate mortgage, uh, you'll be fine. But if you plan on being in this house for the rest of your life, long term, there could be some interest rate risk down the road. We did the math on a $200,000 home. Right now, with a seven-year arm, you'd save about $100 a month, but you'd likely have to refinance down the road. One of the biggest complaints from homeowners during and after the housing crisis was that unless they had very good credit scores, they couldn't refinance their mortgage rates. So, of course, that's another big thing to keep in mind when considering an adjustable rate. You have to keep your credit history in tip-top shape. Now, of course, there are still many who are skeptical of these loans, and if you're not comfortable with it, that's fine. Stick with a fixed rate. But there have been a lot of law changes since the mortgage meltdown that require lenders to be a lot more thorough and borrowers to show that they have the ability to repay regardless of the type of loan they take out. Greg. All right, Jen, and again, there are a lot of different kind of adjustable rate mortgages out there, right? Right. It doesn't just automatically adjust every month. That's what a lot of people think. You can choose from a series of different kinds of adjustable rates. Some set a fixed rate for the first five or seven years and then fluctuate. Others have a cap on how high they may go. So there really are a lot of options. It's best to talk with your realtor or your mortgage agent about what's out there and what you'd be comfortable with as a home buyer. Always talk with an expert. Thank you very much, Jen Lukey, reporting live tonight from the newsroom. Dory